people talk about the Civil War all the time. You, you know, this is like... Uh, nah, fuck it. Segment time. You know, this is like... People talk about this shit nonstop. It's a very, very common, like, fascist rhetorical tactic. I just talked about this with Tim Pool. But we have to talk about this again, okay? Fucking look. Rational Disconnect collected a bunch of these uh, logs together on, on his thing. Tim Pool talks about Civil War non-fucking-stop. Every single video Tim Pool does, every single one of them is something happened. Could this be the beginning of a civil war? <sighs> National vote erasing electoral college, racial tensions, unrest, cultural divides, Spanish civil war. We're at the gates of civil war and nothing can stop. Stop! Civil war doesn't happen because people are angry at each other online. Civil war happens when fucking capital and political capital organize against one another, okay? And no, Mitch McConnell blocking the Senate is not a civil fucking war, okay? The extent... Do you have any idea how serious a civil war is? God, I cringe so fucking hard at these LARPers, dude. When I talk about revolution, I say this. The material conditions are not ready. We're a long time away. It's important for us to be prepared if something does happen, but right now we're still in the discontented throes of a failing neoliberal state and not a potential revolutionary state. You know, there's still a lot of room to move around in. There's still time, okay? There's still space. The, um, the characteristics of our democracy are still more or less in operation. Trump has done a lot to erode the democratic, you know, validity of this country, but we still do have an election process. We do have, you know, um, checks and balances. We have systems in place. Now, with that being said, conservatives never say this. To conservatives, every single fucking thing that happens is the beginning of the one. Every single time. Every single time. Tim Pool does this most of all, and I think this is probably the most fascist characteristic of Tim Pool's behavior, because it plays inherently to the fascists' necessary belief that every threat must be a civilization-ending threat. Have you ever wondered why it is that when you're browsing through Kotaku in action, or just looking through Twitter, and somebody says something like, oh, they took out, ugh, they're going to have a black character in the next video game, so this is how Western civilization falls. How many times have you seen that tweet? I see it every day. Every single day of my life. It's cringe. It's really cringy. Like, really? That's what Western civilization is going to fall to? Like, that, that's what it takes, you know? That's the fucking straw that breaks the camel's black? It's everything. A new cartoon, Steven Universe, like a cartoon show with gay people, this is how Western civilization falls. Um, voice actors are being replaced with people who are the races of the characters being voice acted for, this is how Western civilization falls. The censorship of a South Park episode, this is how, it's every single time. And the reason for this is because perpetual conflict and the threat of the obliteration of your civilization are the two kindling that are thrown on the fire of any fascist uprising. It is how they operate. It's how they talk. If you're ever looking in from the outside and you're thinking like, wow, this is, um, this is actually really embarrassing and over-emotional. It's kind of pathetic how easily and how fragile you know, their, their political you know, um, outrage sort of comes about. And that is all very true, but it stems fundamentally from the mind state of a fascist-leaning person. It's not just Tim Pool who does this. Black Pigeon Speaks does this every single video as well. Like, we can, we can go over here. I misspelled that in so many ways. It's... Wait, is Black Pigeon Speaks deleted off YouTube? Wait, are they still? Wait, when did that happen? Did that happen? I thought he came back. Wait, when... When did that happen? Um... This is from June 13th, 2019, but I'm pretty sure that he got reinstated after that. I think he's just shadow banned. 
Here we go. Okay, so he's just shadow banned. You just can't actually look for his channel. And it seems to be reflecting in his viewership numbers. Yikes. Anyway, um, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, if you go through Black Pigeon, um, if you go through Black Pigeon Speaks videos, they're kind of similar. Um, they kind of work the same way, where every single video is supposed to get you really riled up and angry about something, and then it leads into this broader narrative about how Western civilization is collapsing under the weight of this, depending on who you're listening to, wokeness, PC culture, progressivism, racial tensions, whatever, you know? And there's a very easy and simple rebuke to all of this. Um, the only reason the conflict need exists is because people like this keep opposing us. If we just woke up and said, hey, racism isn't that good and we should stop doing the racism, you know, um, and then everyone else agreed racism is bad, let's stop it. Maybe we should do these incredibly easy and reasonable like police reforms and there was no pushback on it. There wouldn't need to be any conflict. See, I don't actually sympathize that much with people who cry over every perceived threat to Western civilization when they are the ones who, is, who are buttressing Western civilization against every form of progress. Does that not strike anyone else as a little bit odd? That would be like, um, that would be like, um, that would be like saying like, I'm trying to fix this house and they keep like tackling me every time I come in with planks of wood and nails. And then they're screaming at me about how the house isn't getting fixed, you know, or how the house is getting increasingly unstable with time. Well, I know that dipshit. I'm trying to fix it. If you think racial tensions are a problem in this country, then fucking address those racial trends, tensions. But when they say racial tension, what they really mean is black people speaking up. They don't actually mean racial tension. They want to keep the racial tension quiet, not by fixing it, but by flattening the concerns of the people who have an issue with the way our society is currently being run. Which is... I mean, it's a strategy. It doesn't really fix the racial tension. Every single time this happens, it only increases tensions down the line. Every time. But... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> of course, we know the truth. And the truth is that these people do not want to fix Western civilization as they understand it. That's not actually something they're interested in. They don't want to address these great civilizational conflicts because it is the existence of that conflict that drives their political engagement. Without fire and without blood, these people have nothing. I ask you, what would Tim Pool have to talk about if he no longer had any pretense for claiming civil war was just around the corner for America? What would he talk about exactly? The problem is, if you take away that overlying narrative, there's really nothing left to talk about but acknowledge the fact that you are a massive media platform that is legitimately trying to um, stall gap social progress because somebody in a video game has colored hair or because one protester amongst hundreds of thousands threw a brick at a window. And if you acknowledge the sheer pettiness, the triviality of the contentions you have with real social progress, your movement collapses on itself. It is only the imagined, hyperbolized fire that keeps things going. It's just sad. It genuinely is. And it takes a toll on their well-being, too. There's a reason why all these people are nervous fucking wrecks, you know? There's a reason why these people... Like, if you actually engage with them in any meaningful way, are fucking crazy. That mindset does a lot to your brain. Um, yeah, it's why Tim is bald, as it so happens. He molded all of his hair off, thinking about, you know, Western civilization and how it's being threatened by people trying to not be racist. I don't know. Anyway, just a pattern I've noticed. It's pretty crazy.